Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Biology Made Easy. In the previous lecture, we've understood what exactly blood pressure means. So today, in this lecture, we're going to learn further about what is what are the different types of conditions found uh, due to imbalance in the blood pressure. For example, high blood pressure, which is also called as hypertension and also low blood pressure which is called as hypertension okay and we are also going to look into how cholesterol impacts uh, the high blood pressure and, and due to which the we risk our uh, heart okay so we're going to uh, this video is very important from that perspective that you need to understand what are the connections or the, what are the linkings between the cholesterol and the hypertension and leading to the heart blockage okay so let's start with it uh, in the previous lecture, as I already told you, we learned about what is blood pressure. If you want to know what is blood pressure and what are the factors affecting blood pressures throughout your day, you can find the link in the description given below and reach out to my previous video. Okay, so let's start with it. Uh, when I say hypertension or hypotension, what exactly it means? Okay, let me break it down and simplify it in these terms because uh, these are mere English words. So I applied usually in biology in many cases so hyper and hypo so when i say hyper it means something above and when i say hypo it means something below so we're considering something as uh, a range uh, of a healthy individual as normal for example which is 120 by 80 mmhg this I've already told you in the previous lecture that this is the normal blood pressure. Something above it will be called as high blood pressure. Something below it is called as low blood pressure. Now you must be thinking that, okay, what, I have, what if I have 121 by 81? Is there high blood pressure? No, that's not. It's plus minus 5 allowed. However, the condition when the doctor tells you that you are a hypertension patient, there is a minimum requirement that you need to fulfill. One of it is... The persistent, when I say persistent, that means your blood pressure usually is around that range and that's why it's called persistent. So persistent systolic pressure is usually around 140 and the diastolic pressure is around 80 to, uh, sorry, 90 to 100. This condition is called as hypertension, okay? Now even the hypertension is of two types, primary and secondary. Now secondary we're not going to focus on because secondary hypertension is uh, recently discovered and uh, the underlying cause behind the secondary hypertension is not yet known however the scientists consider it to be uh, something related to hormones okay but primary is something which is most prevalent type okay it is uh, there in all the types uh, all uh, in the amongst the population it's present in most of the human beings okay and because of the aging also pri primary hypertension develops okay so uh, there are major factors okay that we will look into the factors are arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis these are the two major factors also obesity that leads to hypertension primary type okay which is also called as essential hypertension now let's look into it what is atherosclerosis okay let me write it down sounds very complicated atherosclerosis guys i've also already discussed the structure of the uh, arteries and the veins in my previous video which uh, you will find in the description given below so please go ahead and watch that video in case you find anything difficult here to understand so atherosclerosis is a condition that develops over a period of time okay and what exactly it is it is the deposition of yellow plaques the deposition of atheroma okay there is something called atheroma now this atheroma is actually made up of your lipid low density lipids okay example cholesterol is one of the types of low density lipids so these atheromas consist of cholesterol and other lipoid materials so what actually happens is they get deposited this cholesterol gets deposited in the tunica media remember the layers so the middle layer here it starts getting deposited the atheroma starts 
forming okay and soon it starts growing bigger in size so it grows bigger in size what actually happens it is forming formed inside the artery it grows big bigger in size reduces the lumen size and finally blocks the artery at the end okay now you must be thinking that okay so we have been consuming cholesterol for such a long time i am not a hypertensive patient neither my family is so that's not it i understand that in humans we have an enzyme called as paraoxygenase okay what this enzyme does is it breaks down the cholesterol okay but when you start consuming a cholesterol rich food item that time this enzyme fails to do it work its work obviously enzyme is limited the body is producing limited enzyme so to compensate that it is not getting enough substrate uh, it has more substrate less enzyme it is not getting enough uh, effectivity to show to be shown on that particular uh, cholesterol okay it is not able to break down that's why the deposition is happening so we should always avoid the diet which is rich in cholesterol for example bad fats for example oil and then you have a lot of butter ghee you should avoid these uh, food because these are ultimately going to lead to the narrowing of artery due to atherosclerosis now atherosclerosis also develops over a period of time it's not that one night i wake one morning i wake up and i have atherosclerosis it's over a period of time so you should always maintain a healthy diet and some exercise along with it we have to know few more important points before we jump into arteriosclerosis because when atherosclerosis happens okay it's leading to the narrowing of your artery but you will not get to know until unless it has become very serious a problem and you face such uh, symptoms okay so we're going to discuss the symptoms now and the symptoms we are discussing based on what artery is being blocked for example coronary artery when i say coronary artery coronary artery is the one that pumps the blood to the heart muscles also also heart is your organ so you have to imagine that heart also needs blood to function so the artery that takes the blood to the heart when it gets blocked you have severe pain in your chest upper chest okay that's what we call it as angina or uh, you also may uh, suffer through myocardial infarction okay heart attack in general it is called heart attack and you also have arrhythmia okay what is arrhythmia sounds a weird name so um there is a rhythmic beat that i told you in the heart contraction and relaxation that rhythm is lost so due to that the heart fails okay to perform its function also shortness of breath so once you start feeling all these uh, on a very regular basis so see heart attack is something that is going to be a very major thing you have to be admitted to the hospital to recognize that but once you start feeling shortness of breath or sometimes pain in your upper chest you should immediately start taking care of your diet because you have to understand that you're leading to a very big a big major problem okay now what about the symptoms uh, if the arteries of the kidneys are blocked okay kidneys are your filtration system in your body so if the artery uh, of the kidney develops atheroma and it blocks the uh, artery of the kidney what happens your renal failure happens renal failure means your kidney fails to function because the blood blood itself so the blood that is supposed to go in the kidney and get filtered is not able to reach the kidney the, the, because there is a lot of blockages okay also you have other very important symptom high blood pressure because of the so much so much toxicity in the blood the blood pressure goes high okay and what if it uh, blocks the uh, supply of the brain okay what if the supply of the brain is blocked people suffer from paralysis stroke so you you must have heard very commonly that you know uh, somebody just got a paralysis stroke you know his uh, half body is not functional or his mouth is a little tilted a drooping facial muscle muscles all these are the symptoms because your uh, artery that is carrying blood to your brain is being blocked due to atherosclerosis so this doesn't happen overnight one person with we imagine oh my god he was so healthy last night what happened to him suddenly he's got this paralysis stroke it's not one overnight thing to happen 
there has been a lot of deposition of the cholesterol in that particular area and once finally the uh, the blood supply is being blocked that time we incur or we uh, we face such symptoms okay so this was about atherosclerosis now let's talk about arteriosclerosis now let us know what is arteriosclerosis let me write it down here what is arteriosclerosis so what happens uh, in arteriosclerosis this is commonly found in old age and it is one of the aging things like when you age this is very common to happen with to you so what happens in arteriosclerosis okay there is calcium deposition okay in the tunica media so what happens in it what is tunica media tunica media is your middle layer of the vessel of artery or vein tunica media is same for both so what happens in the arteries here there is blockage there is not blockage there is hardness of the arteries so elasticity is lost why is the elasticity being lost because of the reason that calcium is getting deposited there and due to this calcification the hardness of the blood vessel is occurring once the blood vessel blood vessel is hard it's obviously going to increase the blood pressure because it's not able to dilate and contract as it is supposed to because of the zero elasticity now okay now there are some risk factors that uh, that adds to your hypertension is one you have a genetic uh, uh, history you have history of hypertension in your family then yes with the age you may incur uh, a hypertension problem okay diabetes diabetes also adds to it if you are diabetic you may develop hypertension later okay lack of exercise unhealthy diet two major things if you don't work out you just there like you don't work out at all then you're going to add the the cholesterol is going to get deposited and may maybe you can get atherosclerosis or maybe due to the calcium deposition arterio so will add to the hypertension unhealthy diet is again very important uh, nowadays we all depend on these takeaways the burgers the pizzas so yeah we do understand that it's the mere problem of the uh, population that we all are speeding up in our careers and we don't have really time to focus on diet however we should really keep in mind that a uh, healthy lifestyle is very much required to live and sustain the life so we should focus on eating healthy because with the where there is health only then there will be wealth is what is considered and that's very true saying now we discussed about the hypertension high blood pressure so this low blood pressure problem so when there is persistent systolic arterial pressure oh my god long term again persistent something which is there for a long time systolic pressure which will be around 110 and the diastolic one lower than 70 so below 110 and below 70 so it's usually lesser than 110 by 70 it's usually lesser than this you are considered to be a hypotensive patient okay now uh, there are different problems okay there are different causes behind it hypertension hypotension uh, is not having particular one cause so if you are anemic okay if your hemoglobin level goes down if your blood uh, is does not have much hemoglobin then your pressure may reduce okay similarly then you have uh, if you have incur reduced ventricular pumping so your ventricles are not very much functional they are not able to pump the enough amount of blood then you may incur uh, hypertension or uh, hypotension sorry symptoms of hypotension are very much serious okay because there are different things uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, hypotension could be like an attack okay it's usually like a shock and people may uh, face uh, severe problems or in fact it can even cause death due to the shock okay so what are the symptoms commonly so uh, dizziness or light headed light headedness usually you will feel dizzy and you will feel that okay you are you are having a little bit of light headedness uh, is what is felt and then you have uh, a history of fainting in the past that you have fainted before and uh, then you have blurred fading vision and then nausea 
uh, and then fatigue fatigue is you don't feel uh, you feel weak most of the times okay it's called fatigue and then nausea is uh, when you st start feeling vomiting sensations and all so all of this doesn't occur at once so few people may just have blurred vision and then fatigue or so you have to get yourself checked if you don't have any medical condition because see uh, any hyper hyper hypertensive patient will have a medical condition underlying so you'll have to yourself take an effort and try to find it out use uh, by using the help of doctors for example i am myself a hypertensive patient and i have faced uh, fainting and a blurred vision both of these problems uh, and so one thing is very important when you are hypertensive okay you have to have good amount of salt because salt is going to increase your blood pressure okay also shock is uh, there is one thing that we call as hypotensive shock okay what happens the blood pressure drops and drops to an extent that the person feel feels uh, the skin itself becomes pale and then there is very shallow breathing pulse is weak and very fast okay and it's it's a very life threatening condition guys so if anybody is facing any kind of hypotensive shock then you have to seek emergency medical help and uh, get the patient immediately to the hospital because uh, many times what happens we don't realize it that the person is having a shock you might just ignore it saying that okay he's just feeling weak probably blood pressure has gone a little low but sometimes it's not little low it's very low and it doesn't recover at the at the uh, time required and the person may die so this is very important that you regulate both these causes so what are the prevention that we need to take care okay healthy lifestyle changes for both of them hypertension hypertension both of them should maintain a healthy lifestyle involve yogic practices or do exercise also you can go to gym okay quit smoking tobacco quit smoking tobacco is very important because <clears throat> nicotine relaxes your body however uh, nicotine does not uh, does have side effects and also is carcinogenic so we should avoid tobacco then you have to have uh, eating habits uh, should be good you should eat on time proper diet needs to be maintained on time so timely food is something which is very important here uh, in case of hypotensive patients also hypertension yes you need to take obviously it's very suggested always suggested to have meals on time you have to exercise regularly and also maintain a healthy weight when i say maintain a healthy weight if you are underweight like me if you are underweight then you may have hypotensive problems okay if you are overweight obesity obviously going to lead to high cholesterol ultimately higher the blood pressure okay so now in this video we have understood what is the difference between hypertensive patients and hypotensive patients okay and these conditions doesn't happen overnight so it's in your hands how do you take your life or how do you want to take your life ahead if you want to live for a long time a healthy life yes do uh, do maintain these uh, lifestyle changes do involve them uh, do do practice uh, yoga or any 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 other form of uh, exercise so if you want to live it to the fullest always keep remembering one thing that the life is very precious so you need you need to maintain healthy diet and exercise to even yolo you only live once so that was it for this video and if you've liked my video please do share this with your friends do subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you so much for giving your precious time and listening to me please share it with your friends and do subscribe thank you